Hi everyone, welcome back to Ski Regional Simulator. Here we are next to the ski patrol, uh, and I thought we'd just do a quick usual check on how things are going. Um, I've just done a recovery mission. Uh, an injured skier was uh, just down on slope 9 near that pylon down there. Uh, and obviously I brought them back to the evacuation point, which is our helicopter pad. And I did notice two new gnomes. Now, quick check. While I was just waiting for the daylight hours, going through the night, if I skip through to... Here we go. Found garden gnomes. This session, I found one. Yes, we're up to 54, uh, which is good. Popularity is 17, which is not great. But if I just quickly find my other schema bob. Where's my other schema bob? Here we are. So we are at top of the mountain. Actually, while we're here, we'll do the uh, the usual stuff here, which is cool. So we've got the ski rental at the top of the mountain. Uh, twi pricing of $25. It's $580 a day. Look at that. Look at that. Five and a half grand it brought in yesterday. It's already paid for itself in the early few moments of today, which is great. Uh, guest dismissed 51. Okay. It's 48% used in the last hour. 222 guests served. That's doing great. We do have this area here, which I believe we can potentially build upon. Um, we have only 70,000. Uh, so we can't afford to put anything just there. Oh, we've got 80,000 now. Money's rolling in, peeps. The money is rolling in. Right. This facility. Uh, station Stamperstock. Pricing. Recommending pricing 76. Okay, we'll have a bit of that action. Going up $6. Um, 612 guests served yesterday. 67% used in the last hour. Obviously at $70.00. That's quite a tidy profit coming in from there. Uh, here we have a drugstore. Low pricing. It's maxed out in the last hour. Uh, $500 a day. It brought in four and a half grand yesterday. Sweet. So we still have more requirements for drugstores. Ski schedule, which is obviously the ski school, which quite amusingly we put a ski school at the top of the black slope. Slope of death or whatever it was called. Um, maxed out, look at that, in the last hour. Uh, $500 a day, maintenance is bringing in almost five grand a day, which is great. So yeah, top of the mountain, looking down in the valley, fantastic. Right, let's get on to our ski above. And for those of you who have been away for a little bit, I have completed all the... Come over here. I have completed all the grooming on our slope. So we've, we've purchased the station here, we've purchased the station here, and we have the station here, and here, and here. So we've, we've done quite well, actually. Um, yeah, we really have progressed. Now, I think the gnomes I saw were somewhere around here. Do you remember when those jumps were last time when we took the uh, schema bob with an injured skier over the uh, freestyle half pipe slope jump things yeah they're around about there so you can see the grooming on one two and three and ten and nine is a little bit less than the rest but that's okay they're still really good condition awesome right as we're here let's just go through our statistics there's there's the facilities that we own so we have a potential large facility we can install on the top of the mountain um, but as you can see, the others are looking pretty damn good. One hotel owned. Um, guest happiness today, youth happiness is 50%, up 4% from yesterday. Singles, 49%, up 2% from yesterday. Uh, families, 51%, up 4% from yesterday. Uh, young seniors, 47 up 2%. And couples, 50%, up 5%. Wow, that we are really starting to... Uh, become popular now. Guest distribution, 26% um, youths today and yesterday. Singles, 20% all across the board. Families have grown by 2%. Young seniors have remained at 6 and couples have decreased by 2% so far today. Uh, total guests, only 105, so it's a slightly smaller survey than the 612 we had yesterday. Your popularity is 17%. Excellent. Right. So let's just go down, I think it's probably slope 10 where it meets slope 9. 
where I saw those. So where are those half pipe jumps? Somewhere down here. So we've got a bit of grooming missed on the side actually, which we could potentially just tidy that up. Whoa! I hit a bit of snow and that kicked me sideways then. I didn't, I swear to God, I didn't press the keys. Was this where I saw them? Yes! Right, so just uh, where that blue gate is, you can, if I jump, no, you can't see. Behind that bloody ice wall is a, uh, is the is the little jumps. But look, look at this little fella up here. Hello, I see you, I see you. Missed. Oh, almost. Yay! Another little gnom. And there's always another one over here. Two little gnoms. Is that only two? Wow, brilliant. So that's three more we have found. Obviously you've seen two, but I got one earlier as well. So that's 56. Wow. Only 44 to go. <laughs> so I'm guessing they're going to be hidden uh, on parts of the map I haven't really been to. So I'm... They're probably going to be hidden along these ski runs, which we haven't been on. Uh, which probably is the reason why we're missing 40 of them. So they're probably not going to be as hard to find as I thought they they would be. Um, so I might do a little scour offline to see if I can find them. Or as we start to uh, own more of the map and work more of the map, then uh, we may be able to uh, run into a few more. Right. Um... Yeah, there's lots of uh, loose snow everywhere actually, isn't there? We could uh, potentially do a little bit more grooming. Uh, I did groom myself to death. Whoa, hello, bump. Um, out, out the way, yellow man. Oh wow, there's a large chunk of snow that hasn't been groomed here. Has that been a landslide? I groomed this. Oh wait, no, we don't own this. No, I groomed that thinking this was my uh, slope and I realised it wasn't, so I stopped. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not going to groom somebody else's slope. God, this is thick snow. Look at that. Okay, we'll quickly come down to the, uh, the station down here. Try not to skittle these skiers out of the way. Here we go. So that's our slope. See, nicely groomed. Lovely. Okay. So you've got a little kiosk down here. Um... Pricing is about right, ten pound, uh, sorry, ten dollars. Brought in seven thousand two hundred and ninety dollars yesterday. It's last hour was eighty five percent. We turned away eighty four guests, so we may need a, to purchase a new kiosk somewhere. Our tourist information uh, priced at two dollars, still bringing in two and a half grand. We turned one hundred and fifty nine guests yesterday. Wow, so a lot of people turned away. Uh, our last hour, our Hoja Station is absolutely max. So we do know now know that 612 is not any particular station. That is the overall number of guests we served via our ski stations yesterday. So they're all linked. Um, so you can add all the maintenance costs together. Um, but I still think we are well on the way to making some tidy profit. Uh, unclaimed baggage. Let's do it. Right, where the heck is... Do I have the uh, the other sled over here? Or... Is it the case of I left it down at the... Uh... The first point at Hoja Station. Let's have a look. I'll just quickly zip down here. This is Hoja Station. Uh, it doesn't appear to be here. Okay. Let's hop back up to this one then. It's got to be... Let's drop that sled off. That's our recovery personnel sled. So where the heck is the other sled? Can anyone see it? It might be down a level. But while we're here... You see the clock's not ticking over anyway. So we've, we've got some time to have a proper look through this. Our souvenir shop. Low pricing, authentic uh, gifts for all the family. Only 20% utilised, so um, it's not great. Uh, but it's still, pay <laughs> it's still bringing in almost six grand. Uh, 
even though it's not utilized, it's doing quite well. We have our station here, which again, 4,500 4, a day, 50% used in the last hour. We have our conference hall, which we missed last time, I believe. Uh, it costs us $1,500 a day. We've got an exhibition in there currently. Last hour was 60% used. Yesterday we served 151 guests and it brought in $13,500. Wow. Already today, $4,000. Wow. Okay, that is a nice little earner. We have a little food stall here. Not normal pricing, serving salad. Wow, 24% use. Oh, it's up to 50% in the last uh, hour. Or, the, or this hour, sorry. 97 gifts dismissed yesterday. 42 today already. Um, it brought in $1,900 yesterday, which is quite good. I'm sure we could probably get more if we served different food, but salads was what they wanted, so... Uh, ski rental down here, $25, normal pricing. 6% used in the last hour. Uh, $6,900 bought in yesterday, 580 maintenance, which is pretty sweet. And I think that it just... Oh, hang on, we've got the stuff around the corner, haven't we? Just to give a full verse on what's going on. Uh, so we've got our ski patrol. Uh, that's costing us 520 maintenance a day with our three workforce, but that's keeping everyone happy. We have our helipad here, which is $500 a day, but it does allow us to... Um, transport injured personnel off the mountain quickly and we have our cell phone tower which is bringing in $280 a day awesome right let's ski down to the middle station or the first station should I say so uh, we can go and get the uh... actually what we'll do we'll leave the Sherpa we'll get on this this one and we'll go up the mountain as we're here Oh, we'll check on our hotel. I know this is probably boring for some, but you know this is this is it's, this is the management part. We need to get our head around, make sure we're still pulling a tidy profit in. Look at that, six thousand a day um, maintenance. We're bringing in almost ten grand now. That's nice. Hundred twenty-four people served yesterday, but it's only at twenty percent capacity, so that's good. Plenty of room for improvement. And capacity increases. Nice. Our childcare facility, $20 a day. Sorry, $20, $20 or whatever. Um, per hour, that is. $600 maintenance. $206, sorry, $2,680 brought in yesterday. Only three dismissed. It's 90% capacity last hour. That seems to be doing quite well. Then we've got Hoja Station, $1,800 maintenance. Obviously, it goes into the Grand total of 612 people served yesterday. Awesome. I think that's pretty much most of the facilities apart from the car park over there and the stuff at the top of the hill. But, uh, yeah, we're getting there. That's pretty much most of the things covered. We'll just to cover the stuff at the top of this hill. Oh, and that will be your financial update of this facility. Oh, right. Okay, I can't find that blooming sled anyway. Where's that sled gone? Right, Ski School down here. Pricing high, $45. Um, six pence used this last hour. 1700 are bought in yesterday. You know I might drop that down to normal pricing. Yeah, let's bring that down to normal pricing. Still doing well, though. Um, and then we got a drugstore down here. Yeah, it's doing very well. $5,400 bought in yesterday. Check on this little food stall. Ah, there's the sled. Fantastic. Fast food, normal pricing, $2,776 bought in yesterday. Brilliant. Um, I was going to get to that point where I'd just go in the menu and try and find where this, this item was on the map. Right, let's reverse this up. And on we go. Whoops, don't hit the, <laughs> the metal pole sticking out of the earth. That's just what you want, isn't it? Coming down a mountain, you've got all these metal poles to uh, spear yourself on. I'm sure that's... We've got to sign a health and safety waiver and a risk assessment for that. Like this. Here we go. Here's the luggage. Right. Let's load it up. Oh, I missed. There we go. 
Where are we off to? Somewhere up the top of the hill, right. So, this is going on non-owned ski slopes, so keep your eyes out for Gnome Watch. My faith has been restored, finding three today. That there are, they are actually in the game. So I'll keep the camera doing a slow turn. See if we can spot them. Now, one of the gnomes, the first gnome which I did actually record me collecting, was actually just lying down flat on the snow, which didn't make it particularly easy to see, and that was at the, the half pipe jumps as well. So, all three gnomes we collected today were all within about 50 meters of each other. And we're coming up to this uh, ski lift thing up here. We may just have a stop and a little look around here, see if there's anything. How safe is very safe? Can you afford not to know? Okay. Where would you like this? Over here. Lovely, look at that. 12 grand brought in. Happy days. We're up to 118,000. Anything up there? Any gnomes? No gnomes. Right. So, what I thought we could do now that we've just basically caught up where we are financially, checking for any gnomes now. I'm checking for you know, these orange sort of padded areas on all these uh, pylons and light stacks and all these kind of things to see if there's any little a little fella sitting on top of them. Alright, let's just hop off here. Five hundred and twenty thousand. Okay, no, I can't afford that. That's fine. I just want to see what the uh, the pricing was for these. Which I could do it from the main menu, but uh, as we were here, it seemed like a, a rather uh, well, like the rather the advantage advantageous thing to do. Just have a quick look, right? So our finances have been checked by the by the car park, but we're not going to worry about that. Now, quick check on the weather. Tomorrow is expecting snow, which does, of course, mean we're probably going to have to clear all the roads, clear the car park, and regroom all the ski slopes, which um, will be a bit of a, a bit of a chore. But it's something we've got to do. Let's just hop up here, see if there's any no gnomes. Right, let's just leave that there for a second. And let us skip to here. Oh, we're just going to check on the car park. Final one. $6 a day, 99% condition. Uh, $1,200 maintenance. We brought in three grand yesterday. 65% used in the last hour. 517 guests served. That's not bad, actually. I wonder if we can... No, let's keep it at $6. That's fine. Car park's looking good. Now, I'm wondering about potentially the next purchase going into a, a new hotel. Um, so these are 120,000 for that hotel. 120, 135, 120, 150, 135. So I'm guessing 120 is the cheapest hotel. We currently have 122,000. I'm thinking about getting another hotel and then we can target a target a new demographic for accommodation. So if we come here, 120,000 for this one. It's going to be six grand a, a day though. I'm going to buy it. Oh, hang on a minute. Wait a minute, wait a minute. For that same money, we could we could buy a large extension for the top of the mountain. Maybe that's going to be a better option at this stage. So we're going to have to check out that. Is there a way of getting up that radio station stack thing? Because I'm sure there's going to be a gnome up there somewhere. Right, let's get rid of that for a second. So the large extension at the top of the hill. Our restaurant is 145,000. Conference room is 125. Spa. Why would you want a spa at the top of the mountain? 
Movie theatre. Oh, we don't have the money, actually. Cl Dance club is 135. Okay, we don't have the money. Oh, okay. I might put this to the vote, then. What should our next purchase be? Complete this large extension. And if that is your choice, what should we save up to buy there? So you've got the options of the restaurants, the conference room, the spa, the movie theatre, the dance club, and that's your options. Now, something with the, obviously with the restaurant, I think you can choose the style of food you want to serve. The conference room, you can choose to have it as an exhibition or a conference room. The spa, there may be options within that. I've never had a spa, so I don't know. Movie theatre, oh, that's the movie theatre. And the dance club, it's obviously the dance club. Uh, so let me know your thoughts, which one you want to get. Uh, and we'll save up the appropriate amount of money to go for that one next. See which whichever is the most popular vote. And of course, or, sorry, or of course, the um, purchase of the hotel. So let me know your thoughts and feelings, which one should be next. Um, we can, of course, go to the info booth to see which would be... Hello there, my little fella. How do I get you down without knocking you... Do I do a shot through there? Oh, oh, I thought I got him. Uh, yeah, so uh, we can have a look at the... Damn him. How am I, how am I supposed to... Is that going to go? It's not going to go through that at all, is it? Okay, what about up there? No, nope, that's still blocking it. So if I hit it, mmm. Maybe if I hit him that way? Is that the only way I can do it? Oops. Yes! Nice. Another name. Um, yeah, so if we have a look at the... The info booth, we can see which would be the more... Um, profitable and the more in demand category of peoples we would like to go uh, go for next. I'm thinking probably the higher clientele, so we could have a really fancy restaurant, but or so fancy hotel, but as you can see we are almost 50% on all level in general happiness, which is quite good. Obviously families have um, increased Volume wise, that's quite good. The distribution is mainly families these days. So potentially we could get a hotel and target young seniors and couples or something like that to try and get their numbers in as well because we're really missing out on their demographics. We've got families, singles and youths. We're doing okay. But young cu seniors and couples, we are a little bit behind the, uh, the line on that one. I can't see any more up there, but that's not too bad. Four gnomes collected today. I'm quite happy with that. Right, um, there's not a lot for me to do at the moment. We've done we've done our basic uh, review of all the various things. We've done a delivery mission. I've driven aimlessly around the map for about 10 minutes. We've collected four gnomes, um, but we need to make some decisions. We now got $131, and by the time the day is out, I'm sure that'll have risen even further. Especially if I do a few more delivery and a few more rescue missions when they pop up. Um, but yeah, things are coming together. I just, what do you think? What, what do you think then? Our next step: complete the large extension at the top of the hill, or purchase a hotel down in the valley. So they seem to be ranging from 120 to 150 50 thousand, which seems to be the range. Yeah, so we, I guess we could just start off with this hotel. Uh, another question, those of you who play this game, does location of the hotel make a difference? So does it matter, for example, this one over this one, apart from the price? Is there, are there spots where hotels are more preferred and will generate more in income? Or is it just, you know, buy all the hotels? All these questions I don't know the answers to. But I'm going to go now. This has just been a little catch-up diary 
on Ski Region Simulator. Not a lot of action, I do apologise for that. But this is just currently where we are at the day. I've done all the grooming. Tomorrow, there'll be so much snow, there'll be so much work to do. So next episode, we'll be doing a lot of manual work. So I hope you'll join me for that one. Thoughts and comments, as always, leave in the section below. Thoughts and ideas, especially on where to go next with the upgrade hotel or one of the extensions and your reason which extension to go for. And thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time in Ski Regional Simulator. I'll see you then.